the next five years is, is interesting. We're 185 years old, so if, you know, next five years is, is, a, is, a, is a drop in the ocean. But you know, if we think back where we've come in the last five years, you know, from a very paper-based, manual, mandrolic uh, organization and a mandrolic industry. You know, so we're, we're now on the cusp of, of digitizing everything. I think now, in five years' time, you know, everything will be, will be automated. You know, so I see all of our, our key um, functions being done digitally. You know, so it, we've got some strange things still happens. If you fly in a, on, a, on a plane now, you'll still see the guy walking in, talking to the captain, getting to sign off his, his, his sheet, you know, and then he'll go off again. That will disappear, I think, in the next five years. You know, so all those things should be a, a digital interaction. Um, and so I, I see, certainly, I see blockchain being a, a big part of our industry, and parts of it, certainly the cargo side of things around when we're shipping um, cargo all over the world. You know, there's a lot of paper, there's a lot of messages f fly around, and it takes a lot of, yes, but absolutely, and it, it takes a lot of effort to, to keep all that going. It's a lot of data flows, flows around. And I think data is a key thing, you know, so, you know, we're using data more and more to make real-time decisions. So. If you've ever flown, you know you'll know that schedules can can go go haywire. You know things can things can change. You know, and it's how we dynamically deal with that. And I think we're we're in a great place now with the investments we've made and the, the the changes we've made over the last few years to deal with that on almost a real time basis. So using the, the the technology more to help us inform our decisions more to to be more efficient and to to be more safe. Um, you know, is is really gonna is only going to increase exponentially.